occurred. Male there, 19 years old. Two witnesses on the scene report a four males getting into red Commodore wagon. Red Joe is Alpha Uniform 95, Sierra Yankee. Sydney 15, copy that radio. Thanks, Sydney 15. We've got one on board heading back to Sydney Police Station. Copy 15. questions whilst you're in custody. You have been arrested by police and they can keep you in their custody for a reasonable time to conduct their investigations. The maximum investigation time cannot exceed four hours. Please note there are times which do not count towards the investigation time. Yeah, hello? Yeah. Yeah, this is T. Yeah. No, I'm really sorry. It was a mistake. No, I'm not smiling, I'm not smiling. Friday, 5 p.m. Don't be late. Bro, right, watch your back, all right? I know we leave. <laughs> Just checking up, ages Bro, ago. what was that? Coach, what happened, man? I'm get suspended. What? <laughs> you want to suspend me, right? T, what'd you do now, man? What's training? Yeah, you went to training, but what'd yeah. you do to get suspended? Without my shorts. What? You got my shorts. You forgot your shorts. What do you mean you forgot your shorts? Everyone yeah, forgets their shorts, right? So you went on the field without your shorts? Hey, bro. Missus is here. My missus? Yeah. That's all good news. That's some good news? Yeah. What's that? Well, you're going to tell me what? It's good news. <laughs> I'll show you. What's this? You're pregnant? <laughs> yeah. So what are you trying to tell me? I'm going to be a dad? We're going to have a mini meal, you. You need to be speaking to Sonny. You gonna see him this afternoon? That guy's a legend, man. Coach is gonna listen to him. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Just go see him, man. Tell him everything. Whoa! Oh, come on, hurry up. Just come, I'll hold you, all right? Good evening. It's Mr. Eiley, is it? Yeah. I'm Detective Ryan Anning from Sydney Police Station. This is Detective... Jeff Harkness, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions in relation to an incident that happened on the 3rd of March 2008. Do you understand that? No, I didn't. Well, I'm just letting you know at this stage that we're going to ask you some questions about an incident that happened on the 3rd of March. Do you understand that? Yeah. Come on, Tay, what are you doing, man? Hmm? Straight out, I could finish this in like three moves. So you want to take that move? Yeah, what do you do? You gotta watch the game. Come on, Tim, I'll tell you better than that. Sonny, you need a favour. What's that? Well, I need you to come talk to my coach. Talk to your coach? What about? Oh, I went to training without my shorts. So what do you wear? Money. 
You don't have to feel it with your undies. Yeah. What do you mind? Were you drunk? Yeah. Come on, man. Why are you fucking around like that? And what do you say? Oh, I might be suspended. What do you mean you might be suspended? No, I might. I need to go to a hearing on Friday. So you want me to come down? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. means a lot. I don't know if it's going to make a big difference, but I'll have a word with him. I'll speak to him, you know what I mean? Thanks, honey. I'm going to ask you questions about an armed robbery that occurred about 11.40pm on the 3rd of March 2008 in the laneway near Carter Street, West Town. What time was it? 11? 11.40pm. No. Nothing at all? Do you recall no. what you were doing on that day? If anything, I was most probably asleep at that time. 11.40pm. Yeah. Listen, then. This is my cousin's house, bro. I don't know if it's all sweet if you're coming in or anything. Hey, Nilla. 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 I thought, fuck, man, you don't know the guy. I didn't want to bring him to your house, you know what I mean? I told him to kick around the side for four minutes and I'll be back soon, you know? Yeah, I guess I'm not open the door for me. I'll take open the door. What day was it? The day? Two days ago. Two days ago? Oh, I was at my cousin's house, actually. What's your cousin's name? What's my cousin's name? Yes. Nah, no, 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 no. You don't know, you know his no, no, name, but you don't wish to tell us. Sunny, where's Layla? Oh, she's in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen. I don't know. Yeah, no, but hey. What are you doing? Hey. Yeah. You on the phone? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Cassie. Oh, yeah. Good food. Yeah, I don't know. Layla, we're in the middle of your time. I shine like a diamond, Ooh, diamond, Ooh, diamond. Ooh, too cold to hold, diamond, diamond, diamond. Can you, Cass, put it away. Uh, I'll call you back, all right? Yeah, okay. What's this? All right, can you, um, can you just put it, put it away? Yeah, 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 all right, bye. What do you want? What do I want? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, I can't come say hello to my cousin, right? <laughs> yeah, come say hello to your cousin. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, mm, what do you need? I need 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah. No, I don't have 50 bucks. Are you serious? I don't, I don't get paid until next week. 40 bucks? Not 40, not 30, I'm sorry. 20? No, no, if you really need money, ask Sonny. I don't want to ask Sonny, but... Why do you want to ask Sonny? I asked him for 50 last week. No, no. not. Oh, sweet. Oh, I'm going to take okay. those, yeah? What do you need the car for? I'm just going to go for a drive with the oh, boys. Oh, OK, you're going to go for a drive with the boys. Yeah, is that all right? A couple hours. Two hours, I'm okay. back in two. two right? OK, two, two hours. hours. And please, don't speed and don't, don't speed. do anything illegal in my car. Illegal? Come on, yeah. I don't know if illegal. <laughs> I'm off anyway, you? Are you off? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Oh, I'll take you out. Depends on waiting a source for a while. Let's go. You off too? I don't know what's going on. Nah, finish the game off with him. No, I wasn't playing. Please, guys. No, no, finish it off. Sonny's waiting for you, man. Take a seat. Sonny's waiting for him, guys. Let's go, let's go. Sonny, what do you reckon, man? I don't know. It's up to him. Do you wanna go or do you wanna stay here? Yeah, I wanna go. Are you gonna take him? Are you gonna get upset if I take him? No, it's all fine. Whatever, bro. Let's go then, man. Oh, it's fine, boy. Thanks, Sonny. I'll get that. Did you leave her house at all? No. Sorry, <laughs> 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 man. Six, 
for the shady glare. Man to man, white flag in hand, white the flares, and I'm a pipe back and chase some break addict. I'm mixed up. So you don't recall being anywhere else, but most likely at your cousin's place, is that correct? Yeah. Have we got those photos handy, Detective Arkness? In the first set of photographs, do you recognise any of the people in those photographs? Yeah. Who do you recognise in that photograph? That's me. That's you? Yeah. Which one's you in the red shirt? Yeah. Alright, so you're indicating that a person in the red shirt yeah. and white pants in yep. both photographs is in fact you. Yep. Right now, on those photographs in the bottom corner, do you recognise any of the other people in those photographs? No, nah, they were at the server when I was there. So they're not friends of yours or any acquaintances? No. Okay. Hey mate, can I have a 20 pack of your cheapest smokes? Yeah mate, you got some more do there? Nah, it's in the car. Can't help you mate, you got some Come on mate, just give us the smokes. I can't sell you out some ID. Oh, come on, just give us the fucking smokes. They get your fucking attention? Can all my fucking smokes? Do you want to pick them up? Nah. You want to give me my smokes? Then. What? What the fuck? You're not getting things down for, bro. F you won't give me my smokes. No, I'll give me fucking smokes, mate. Do you want to pick them up? No, I'll pick them up while I get my smokes. When you give get your smokes. smokes? Yeah. Gonna pick him up. Hey, are you on the phone too? I'm calling the police. What the fuck, bro? Get the fuck off the phone, bro. Are you calling the police? Hey, bro? listen, mate. I'm the manager phone. of the shop. I'll call the shots. Get him off the fucking Get off phone. The phone. Get off the phone. Get the phone down. Don't raise your voice in my your shop. Boss. Get off the phone. Your mate's not doing the right thing, is he? Don't scream in my shop. Pick him up. Fuck you. Then you're not gonna get your cigarettes. Fuck. Get out of my shop. Listen, mate. Get out. What's that all about, man? You too. Get out. Put it down and get out. Get out! Bunch of monkeys. Fucking hell, man. Bro, if we're gonna start doing things like that, carrying on like a dickhead, I'll oh, stay in the car next time, right? It's a local, bro. No, I don't know cigarettes, you understand? Yeah. Let's go, Nella, bro. Do you recognise a person in that photograph? No, I don't think I've ever seen him before. Do you own a mobile phone? Do I own one? Yeah. So have you got that SMS sheet there, Andy? This document, which is a printout in relation to an SMS message sent from one number to another. Do you recognise the phone number to which the message was sent? I think it's mine. And what does the text message say? Where are you? Do you recall receiving this text message? I'll let you know that this number from which the SMS message was sent is subscribed to Mr. T. Samuel. Yeah, I'll not take some of it. Was he with you in the evening? Um, I can't remember. Jump in, boy. Get into it. Say later, man. Where are you going? I can't know, fam. It's 20 minutes early. Yeah, boss let me off earlier. Well, what happened? You know that phone call I got out there? Your mum? Yeah, she got evicted, eh? What happened? She's two months behind. Do you want me to lend you some money? No, I'm sweet, eh? You sure you're right? Yeah. I'll yeah, you can give me a call. Yeah, for sure, all right? Catch you later. Yeah, Take sweet. care, yeah? Thanks for that, eh? Okay. Right. See ya. How long has Kurt taken the car for? A couple of hours. Has he got petrol in the car? Yeah. 
Are you sure? Sonny, what are you worried about? Cass is taking the car before. I'm not worried about the car or Cass. Cass is old enough to look after himself. Yeah. So he's only 16. Still young. I suggest to you that after you left the service station, you went to Carter Street in the suburb of West Town, and that you drove there in your cousin's vehicle about 11.40 p.m. The cast pull over. Before. Why just pull over? And that after the gentleman completed his ATM transaction, yourself and a number of other males approached him in the laneway while he was speaking on his mobile phone. Where are we going? Don't worry, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to wait for you over here, then. No, nah, don't. I'm waiting for you right here. Hey, pass us the hoodie. What? Just pass us the hoodie. I'm cold. Yeah, I'm cold too. Pass it to you. No. Uh, just made us down there, all right? Yeah, just go down. I'm going to meet him there. It's enough. It's enough to hold us out for a while. And this is calm down, calm down. It's gonna be alright. Yeah. Well, I'll be there in an hour. Please stay in the car, keep watch, yeah? Keep watch. Alright. I got your back, bro. Take my back, come back. I got your back. Hey, excuse me, mate. You got a cigarette? Nah, mate. You don't have the time on you by any chance? Can't help you out, eh? I want your money, your wallet, your phone, and everything. Now. That's it, that's it, Nella. You got him, bro. You got him. Fuck. You got him, Nilla. In the pockets, in the pockets, in the pockets, quick. Nilla. In the pockets, Nilla. Nilla. Hey, Nilla, Nilla, quick, wait. Get off him, bro. Get off him, get off him, Nilla. Go, 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 go. Get in the car, get in the car, you drive. Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Nilla, Nilla, bro. Jump in, bro. Let's go, let's go, damn, bro. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Hey, Sonny. Ah, tell me to tell you. What are you up to? No, nothing. How was last night? Last night. The boys look after you? Yeah, the boys did look after me. Yeah, what did you get up to? Up to, oh, no, nothing much. Just kicking at the park. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you sure you don't look too good, man? No, I just haven't slept. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not with any of the boys, man. I'll drop them off. Unbelievable, man. I don't want to bring him out with me anymore. No way. It's not going to happen. Yes. Yeah, I'll call you back. We also have a statement from a number of witnesses who have indicated that they saw your vehicle in the laneway near Carter Street in West Town and have provided a description of yourself wearing the clothing as indicated in the CCTV footage and have described the vehicle and given the registration number of the vehicle registered to your cousin as being at the scene and the persons responsible for the stabbing getting back into that vehicle. Hi there, my name's Constable Rutgers. This is Sergeant Unzillo. We're from the Hi. local police. Do you own this vehicle out the front, ma'am? Yep. That's your vehicle? Mm -hmm. And your, what's your name? 
Uh, Leila. The reason we're asking, okay, the vehicle was involved in a serious incident two nights ago. Were you driving the vehicle then? Did you lend the vehicle to someone? Uh, my little cousin. Your little cousin. What's your little cousin's name? Um, Kasim. What's Kasim's surname? Um, Ali. Layla, do you know who else was in the car with Kasim that night? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, it's a fairly serious incident, okay, and I'll just let you know that if you don't tell us, you may be committing an offence. Okay, what, what happened? Like, what exactly happened? Now, she's also obliged to inform us who the passengers were in your vehicle. She only let me the car. Well, that's right, and her obligation and under the she law... Doesn't know, Listen, she doesn't know who I was with. Let me finish. You asked me a question. Let me explain to you why your cousin's involved. She's the owner of the motor vehicle, and the law requires her to provide the name and address of the driver and any passengers in the vehicle at the time. That's her obligation under the law. I'm just letting you know what her obligations are. Yeah, but she's not liable for prosecution of the car. She doesn't know who's in the car other than me. Well, who was in the car? Well, that's what I know, and that's what you're not going to know. So you're not going to tell us? No. The witnesses also describe a male, the person from this photograph, who I suggest to you is in fact T. Samuel Yu, was standing as a lookout next to the vehicle after this offence took place. Is there anything you want to tell me about that? Actually, that's not true, man. What's the truth? But he wasn't the lookout. But he was with you? Yeah, he was. And what, what, what did he do? Fuck me, he was, he was... He didn't get out of the car the whole night, actually. Like, he was in the car. Like, I, I, when I was at the server, I told him to stay in the car, you know? I made sure whatever I was doing, he was in the car, you know? Jump out, mate. Hello, mate. What have you got? Hello. We got uh, armed robbery and malicious wounding. He's a juvenile, is he? Yes. How old is he? He's 16. Yeah. What's his surname? Samuel. Can you spell it? S A M. S A M U E L U. First name? T. T W E. Date of birth? 12. We suggest that you were involved in the robbery on the gentleman in the laneway after you used the ATM. No, I wasn't involved. Or, or, I didn't even touch the bloke, you know what I mean? What do you mean you didn't touch him? I didn't, I didn't ask him for his property. I didn't fucking... I didn't lay a finger on him, you know, and, and when anything happened, you know what? I was just standing there, look. So you recall the lane, what? So, yeah, something did happen. Where someone's property was asked for, but not by you? Yeah, no, not by me. And this gentleman, yeah? You're saying he didn't act no, as a look? He wasn't, he, look, he wasn't there. He didn't say that. Look, whatever happened, he didn't say. You know, he was in the car. T. Samuela. How do you pronounce your surname? Is it Samuela? Samuel. Sam what? Samuelu. Samuelu. All right. Because you're a juvenile, you're entitled to a support person to attend the police station. Will your mum be home oh, if no. I give her a ring? No, I don't want you to ring her. You don't want me to ring your mother? Who do you want me to ring? Who am I, youth worker? What's his name? Jamie Alford. Jamie Alford. Well, I didn't know what was I didn't know what was, what was waiting for us in the lane, you know. So he told me watch my back. I thought, you know, I thought he, I thought he spotted someone that um, that he didn't like, you know. So he's telling me watch my back. Mm -hmm. I didn't think a robbery or anything, you know. So I thought, you know, fuck no, yeah, watch your back, you know. So you realised when he asked him for his phone and his wallet that it was a robbery. Oh, that, well, then I, I heard him say that. I thought, fuck, you know, the guy's gonna get robbed, you know. So then 
I'll just I'll just put about 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 a meter or two in my back, and I don't I don't want to get involved. Well, I'll let you know at this stage that, um, as of right now, we are intending to charge you with the armed robbery of the man and the assault. What do you mean charge of the armed robbery? Man? The fact that you were present when the robbery took place. I didn't touch the boy. What do you mean present? That doesn't make me part of it. You don't have to be. You don't have to participate in it, as long as you're there and willing to assist, you're guilty of the substantive but I wasn't willing offence. But I wasn't willing to assist. You told me earlier that you had your friends back and if they got into trouble you were going to help them out. Not to rob the bloke. If, if they were to be in, like, in danger, right. I'll yes. pull them out. Correct. I, I didn't say I'll jump in and help that's them. That's great, look. But I that's, the way it, that's the way it is. You're going to be charged with the armed robbery and with the malicious wounding of the gentleman. Right. What do I mean malicious wounding of the gentleman? You were stabbed, I didn't hold the knife, but how, 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 how do I get charged with something I didn't Mate, do? Don't that. argue with me. That's what, you asked what me what's doing. happening from here, and that's what's what? happening from here. That's what we're doing. Well, because you can't get the other two, you're putting it on me. Well, look, I've explained to you what's happening. After we leave here, you're going to be charged with the both. If you need any further assistance in relation to it, I suggest you contact your solicitor. What about the little man? How about him? We'll deal, with him? we'll deal with him differently. You don't need to know what's going on in relation to him. All right. Do you remember the evening of the 3rd of March 2008? No. You don't remember what you were doing that day? Do you remember what you were doing today? Yes. What happened today? Just waiting. Waiting for? Until you guys call me in. So you were expecting us to call you in? Mm. Why were you expecting us to call you in? I don't know. I'll just show you a photograph here. Yeah? You recognise the person in that photograph? Yeah, me. This is the jumper that we've got here. We'll just hold it in front of the camera. Do you recognise that? Yeah. Do you agree that in the corner of the jumper there appears to be blood? Do you have any idea how the blood came to be on that jumper? Right, I suggest to you that on the evening of the 3rd of March 2008, you were in the laneway near Carter Street in West Town, near the vehicle that you've identified in this picture, and that you were in fact acting as a lookout while the other boys committed a robbery offence. Do you have any recollection of being there? You don't recall or you don't wish to answer? No, sir. Do you wish to answer any further questions in relation to what we may have to ask? Our time is 11.10pm. It's been a knock at the door and this interview will be temporarily suspended. Still for your mind waiting here just a few minutes. We'll just be outside if you need us. Time is now 11.15 p.m. Interview recommenced. Mr. Samuel, just before um, we suspended the interview, we were talking about, or well, I was asking you questions about persons that may have been with you at the time. Yeah. You declined to answer those questions. And you further stated that you did not wish to answer any further questions. Is that still the case? Yeah. All right. Um, I'll inform you at this stage that we've received information that the victim, Mr Wallace, has died as a result of his injuries. So the offence that we're now investigating is that of murder. Do you understand that? As the offence has changed, I'll advise you again that you're not obliged to say or do anything in relation to this matter. As anything you say or do may be recorded and used in evidence. Do you understand that? In relation to this new information, is there anything further you wish to tell me in relation to this matter? All right. That concludes our interview. However, before we finish, I'll just let you know that uh, Detective Harkness and I will be charging you with the armed robbery and the homicide of Mr Wallace. Do you understand that? This interview is now formally concluded. T. Samuelu, you've been charged with the armed robbery and murder of Mr. Trey Wallace. For that reason, I am refusing you bail. 
you will be taken to Cobham Detention Centre until you await to face the courts in the morning. Do you understand that? It means you're staying in custody overnight. You're not going anywhere. Do you understand that? Will I go home? No, you don't get to go home. You're held in police custody. Because I just want to go home. Well, for tonight, you're staying in police custody because of the charges. That's how it's going to happen. The constable here will take you and put you back in the dock until you're ready to go. Okay, Tay, let's go now. Let's go home. Hello? There you go. What are you up to for tonight? Alright. What do you need more boys for? I don't know, just grab any little kid. Um, you know, Rob, grab, grab his little brother Joey. Yeah, I'll swing past yours, I'll be about 20, 25 minutes, alright? Alright, later. While the whole world sleeping. In the streets, it's while the whole world sleeping. Oh, wow. 